Martin Mims, Missionary Bishop, Convocation of Anglicans in North America. Let us pray. Father God, we are your people, called by your name, and we assemble together this day to seek your mercy. We gather in the shadow of the disaster in Haiti. We remember before you those who have died and pray for those who grieve their loss. We pray for the injured and the homeless. We pray especially for the many children whose lives have been devastated. Comfort them, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We gather on this day mindful of another tragedy. We cannot see their faces or hear their cries. But we grieve for the millions who have died because of the nightmare of abortion. We pray for them. We pray for those who mourn their untimely end. Forgive those who were complicit in their deaths. Forgive us, Lord, for not doing more to prevent their loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We gather to renew our commitment to the protection of every human life. We know your heart. We know your love for every child, born or unborn. We marvel that you have made everyone in your own image. Forgive us for the times when we have forgotten this. Forgive us for the many ways in which we have failed to respect the sanctity of every human life. Give us courage to be a voice for the voiceless. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We gather today to pray for our leaders. We pray especially for those who even now are making decisions about providing health care for all our people. Protect them from choices made out of political expediency with no mind for your truth. Remind them of your promises. Turn their hearts to the children. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now to the God who showed his love for the whole world through the gift of his only Son, Jesus the Christ, and who calls us to do the same, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time, and now and forever. Amen? Amen.